both of you if possible. Mr Mayor, uh, I just wanted to ask you, who was it who said Jeremy has already proved that he is unable to organise an effective team and has, has failed to win the trust and respect of British people? Throughout this referendum campaign and the aftermath, Jeremy failed to show any leadership we desperately needed. His position on the EU membership was never clear and voters didn't believe him. Mr Mayor, were you wrong to say this? Do you believe Jeremy on his promise to end student debt and renew Trident as well, basically? Well, wow, 17 questions in one barrier. Well done. Uh, uh, but listen, let me deal with that directly. Uh, we had a leadership contest in our party and uh, Owen Smith stood against uh, Jeremy uh, and the magnanimity of uh, Jeremy when he defeated Owen is to put him in his shadow cabinet. And Jeremy is not the first Labour leader to give jobs to candidates who stand against him, nor is he the first Labour leader who stands in an election and wins it and brings on board his team uh, defeated candidates, but those who supported the other candidates. And if you can't have a frank discussion during a leadership contest, which is something that the Tories didn't do, then when can you have uh, a discussion about the policies of each uh, candidate? And, uh, you know, I'm not just saying this because Jeremy's here, but he's shown during the snap election Theresa May called this year. And the only reason for Theresa May to call that election when she's 20 points ahead is to try and wipe out our party, uh, and not because she wanted a better mandate for uh, the Brexit. Um, and so, you know, Jeremy showed that we weren't wiped out, but also made significant uh, uh, gains. But Jeremy, I'll let you answer Barry's uh, question. Well, Barry, thanks for your question. I led our party during the EU referendum campaign on a policy of remain and reform. I believe the EU needs reforming, needs a, quite a lot of uh, fundamental change, but I did say we should remain. Two-thirds of Labour supporters voted with me on that. Sadly, we didn't win that referendum, so we're now where we are on this. My job is to lead the party. I'm very proud to lead the party, very proud of our growth in membership, very proud that in the general election we gained three million more votes than we got in 2015, the largest vote in England since 1970, biggest swing to Labour since 1945. I'm proud of that, but very, very sad that we didn't quite win the election because I want to deal with housing, with mental health. I want to deal with the grotesque levels of inequality and injustice that exist in Britain. I want to lead a government that can bring about this huge social change, revolutionary social change that Britain so desperately needs. That's what we exist for the, in the Labour Party to achieve. And it does mean that after an election process, and I've been through two leadership elections, you've obviously got to work with all your colleagues. And that is exactly what we're doing in Parliament. And I'm travelling the country to go to every marginal constituency. We've got to win in the next general election. I've been to 52 since July, and I'm going round all of them. We are going to take it on, take on the Tories. And you know what? 